Hi there everyone, thank you for joining me once again for another video tutorial on this uh, Pansy Basket rock painting. Um, so in this video, which I'm not going to number them anymore because I'm not sure how many I'm going to make with each video series, but the links to whatever um, videos in this series of the Pansy Basket rock painting tutorial will be linked in the description box below so check them out if you want to learn how I got to this point so far um, and thank you for joining me all I'm gonna do is reveal the image today the images of the smaller um, pansies that I've adhered to my rock using freezer paper I've already adhered a larger image and peeled the image back and I got a great transfer using freezer paper, which is an amazing method to use for um, transferring an image of anything, I think. Um, so I go through all those steps on how to get to this point in my other videos. So please refer to those. Um, but that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to peel back the paper on some of the smaller pansies that I added to the top. And you'll see how it comes right off and I have a gorgeous transfer there so there's another layer there I'm gonna wet that and I'll peel that back but I don't know if you can see it pretty well but I've got them all adorned around the edges and I'm just gonna continue to pull off the paper the backing of the freezer paper um, hopefully they all worked I think they did um, I love to paint flowers. I like realistic looking flowers. I don't like to copy anyone uh, per se, but I do like to have a nice base image to formulate a pattern from. And I will adhere, I will uh, adorn this rock with my own style, add my own colors and embellishments to it. I might add a butterfly. I'm not really sure at this point. But you see how easily it comes off and reveals like a beautiful image transfer. Basically, um, freezer paper, you can, you can make sheets for it and stick it in your printer. And uh, again, like you'll find links to how to do that. If you can't find them, let me know and I'll, I'll send you the links to those videos that explain all that for you. Um, but if you look around the blog page and the other videos that I'm doing, it, it should be clearly outlined what videos will explain how to print on freezer paper and, and all that. Whoops, I think I'm taking off too much here. I think I need to wet that a little bit. Okay, so... That one didn't come out too good. I might be going a little bit too fast, but that's okay. I can always add some leaves or whatever I want later on. All right, so I'm going to cut this short, um, or cut this off right here, and I'm not sure if there'll be another video, but look for the successional, you know, the number that will come after this, if there is one. Um, I might just take a picture of this at the end and put it in the blog post so that you can see the finished result. Um, if you like this video, please consider liking it for me and um, subscribing to my channel for more videos on how to do rock painting. Um, I do a lot of different crafts. Um, I'm into rock painting, of course. Uh, I like image transfer. I like stained glass. I like um, crocheting. I do some crochet projects, some earrings and things like that. I haven't really made videos on that yet. But um, anyway, that's it. All right. I think I got some good base images here to work from and I'm going to fill this in with colors and make it pop. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for joining me. Take care.